Hello and welcome. Home shopping is one of the fastest growing industries in the UK and it's estimated within a couple of years will account for one third of all retail sales. You are in the right business at exactly the right time. Clean Easy is a retail business and for retailers it's essential that customers buy products and are pleased with the service they receive. The Clean Easy retail system bypasses traditional retail shops and offers personal customer service. By cutting out the middleman, Clean Easy pays you a percentage of your sales. In an uncertain economy, this is a great way to supplement your income. In this video, we will show you a simple method for using your time more effectively so your effort produces greater sales. At its simplest, personal presentation is no more than showing the catalogue to potential customers. It's all about knocking and presenting. The thought of walking up to a door and introducing yourself to someone makes almost everyone feel nervous at first. But by personally presenting, you gain in many important ways. Hello, uh, my name's Mary, Mary Fullerton. I'm one of the distributors for Clean Easy products here in Mossley Hill. And the reason I'm called... First, you'll develop personal relationships with your customers from the outset. You'll also increase the speed at which you're able to develop your customer base as direct contact will quickly enable you to identify those people who will look and buy. I'm one of their distributors of Clean You'll Easy. reduce the cost of starting and running your business as you'll greatly reduce the number of catalogues that are lost. By personally explaining that you pay for catalogues and that you'll be collecting them back on a specific day, your customers will be more aware of the need to have them ready for collection. And I'll be back on Monday, as he says on the slip, to pick it back up. This in conjunction with a day slip will help to make collection of your catalogues quicker as you will have fewer stragglers to return for. This is particularly important if you're starting with a small number of catalogues. For example, a basic starter kit with 50 catalogue packs. And that way I won't need to disturb you when I come back. You'll educate people who aren't familiar with Clean Easy about the advantages of ordering from you. Personal service, free delivery, payment on delivery and a money back guarantee. You'll increase your revenue by increasing the amount you make per catalogue as you'll only leave them with people who are interested in what you're doing. You'll encourage people to take a look who might not otherwise do so. And more looks equals more orders as the catalogue is a great salesperson. You'll build rapport and trust with customers and as they'll meet you face to face, they'll feel more comfortable about placing an order with you. By speaking directly to more people, you can add in a third person referral approach about sponsoring to increase your pool of prospects. For example, you can say something like, would you happen to know anyone who might be interested in earning an extra income? I think this is a great opportunity for people to learn some new skills when they first join Clean Easy and therefore maybe after just a few weeks in the business feel like they've achieved something that they maybe didn't think they were capable of achieving. So we're giving people that feeling of achievement and success and income. I think the network will benefit from this training because someone else has already done all the hard work for you. They've gone out and done all the hard work. All we need to do is put it into practice and it really works, which is amazing. Because I was a bit sceptical at first thinking, will it work? And what about this and what about that? But actually, if you just use the scripts and, and use the training that we've put in place, it works perfectly, really, really well. I think it's good for the network and it's got to be good for results and it's got to be profitable for, for new distributors and at the end of the day that's what we want because if people are profitable they're enjoying the business and, and they may expand their business as well and that's what our business is all about. It gives people more self-confidence to do other things and talk to people which is going to benefit on the sponsoring side. We just normally just post the catalogues and go back a couple of days later. Yes, we do lose a few catalogues we put them into empty houses. This way, you won't be putting them into empty houses because you'll be physically knocking the door. Someone's going to answer the door. Nine times out of ten in our area, it's children, so we just ask for the parents. 
and it's going to be so much easier and we're going to lose less catalogues, which is fantastic. I think it's going to help a great deal in my confidence, but also to prove the figures right to myself that, you know, I've always gone out there with the conception that blanket dropping is the thing, but this is going to open up a new channel where we can see better results. And I want to prove that to myself, that it does work. We carried out a trial that involved over 5,000 catalogues being personally presented by distributors from the UK and Ireland. The results were amazing. And if you follow the advice and word tracks outlined in this video, you can expect to achieve similar results. Average sales of £2.70 per catalogue. A 2% catalogue loss rate where three attempts are made to pick up stragglers. Presenting and picking up a catalogue takes about five minutes. So presenting and collecting 50 catalogues takes about four hours. That means average sales per hour of around £33. Remember, these are averages, so when you go out to personally present, there's a chance that individual drops could be different. But these results will give you an idea of what to expect if you go out several times. Most importantly, use the training. We know it works. My top tips for any new person is to, one, go out there, yeah, and start it off, kick it off. Secondly, to be confident and thirdly, to be humble. Because again, we've got a big company behind us, a big credibility and a big brand name. And all we are, are the live version of the little adverts that the company has already been running. And people are really happy to see us, which is really nice. So go and enjoy it. That'd be my biggest tip to a new person. Learn the script properly. Keep reviewing the script and the tips around the script. Know how much time you've got, how many catalogues you're aiming to get out and then get back out there to get the rest out as quick as possible but stick to the script and watch the body language. I found it hard to wait for somebody to say hello so I always pretended I was making a note in my wet book and then when they said hello I would, oh shock I've not gone somebody's door <laughs> if that makes sense. Plan your time and be strict on that time and plan your route, know where you're going and just keep really good records. Stick to the script, be friendly, try to wear the brand of clothing because I think at the end of the day it is a uniform that we should all try to wear um, and respect people and respect their property and their space. Follow the system, you know, you know be prepared and, and just you know, take the advice that they're being given and just go out there and give it a go and have fun, enjoy yourselves. Make sure you look the part. Think about the image that you're trying to portray and make sure that you look presentable. People want to do business with professionals and whilst this doesn't mean wearing a suit, it's important that you're smartly dressed. We'd recommend branded clothing, a smart pair of shorts or trousers, depending on the weather, and a presentable pair of trainers or shoes. Use your eyes to save time. If you're focused purely on personally presenting, it can be frustrating to waste valuable time standing outside empty houses. It's amazing what you can tell just by looking. Although the only way to be certain is to knock, there are clear signs that can suggest the householder isn't in. No car on the drive, windows all shut, uncollected mail, bins at the end of the drive, uncut grass, no lights on in the evening. So, if your time is limited, spend it at houses that look as if someone is at home. Maintain the right attitude. Our attitude determines our altitude in everything that we do. It's essential that you adopt a relaxed but expectant, no big deal attitude. The worst thing that will happen is that they say no, and no is good because it means that you won't be wasting your time. And there's always the best possible outcome where someone becomes a customer for life and eventually joins your team. 
Remember, no matter how well you approach, you'll sometimes hear the words no, no thanks, and all the other variations. You'll hear no more frequently when you're personally presenting than when you're blanket dropping because you'll have more contact with people. But remember that people are refusing the service and products that you're offering, they're not rejecting you as an individual. By presenting the catalogue, you're not selling a product, you're just promoting the idea of taking a look. Know what you're going to say. To help you succeed with this, we've put together a series of word tracks that provide a structure to the conversation that you'll have at the door. By knowing what you're saying, you'll be better able to focus on the way you're saying it, to ensure that you're projecting yourself to potential customers. I found the um, training scripts really useful, because initially you might not know exactly what to say, but someone's already done the hard work for you. So again, if you just use the words that work, they do actually work, which is nice to know. I felt good about it. I felt every doorstep's a challenge. Um, so that excited me and it's made me rush to find another person in. I found the training scripts absolutely fantastic. What I did find on the doorstep was it gave me a fantastic um, awareness of the customer's customer service and I felt much more confident than I would have had letterbox and catalogues. What's been evident with the results is they are the training and the systems that have been put together are giving consistent results not just for myself but throughout, throughout the group so yeah brilliant. Over the next few minutes we'll show you personal presentation in action. Please watch this carefully and see if you notice any of the common mistakes. Remember common sense isn't always common to everyone. Let's take a look and then we'll come back and break it down step by step. Hello. Hello, I am Jay. I'm one of the distributors of Clean Easy products here in Wolverhampton. I'm just running around making sure that you've got the latest Clean Easy catalogue. Have you seen that before? No. Yeah, I'm just in the area just to make sure you get your catalogue. Yeah, everyone else has had one as well, so I guess you'll want yours as well. Yeah, and I'm just making sure that you've had the chance to actually see the catalogue there. On Monday I'll be back. You may or may not um, find things of interest. I'd really appreciate you leaving it out for me. Monday, I'm coming back on Monday. Just leave it anywhere, with or without an order, and um, I'll, I'll come and find it. If you do order, it is free delivery. Um, I'll personally deliver the, the products to you myself. Uh, payments only do when you deliver the, when I deliver the products. Um, you, you'll also have a full money back guarantee. Um, that's, again, if you're not completely satisfied with the, um, with the order. All you have to do is to fill the order form out at the back and leave it out with the catalogue and I'll pick it up together. If there is any questions that you have that I can help you with, again, all my details are on the front there, so feel free to give me a call. So my name is Jay and uh, who are you again? I don't believe I told you. Oh, all right, uh, thank you. Hello, my name's Mary, it's uh, Mary Fullerton. I'm um, one of the distributors for, for Clean Easy here in Mossley Hill. Um, yeah, the, the, um, the reason I'm calling, uh, I'm just making sure everyone's had a chance to have a look at the latest Clean Easy catalogue. I haven't, no, no, to be honest. You may or may not see some things of interest, but I'll leave it with you and I'll be back on Monday, as it says on sign, to pick it up. If you do order, it's free delivery. Uh, I'll personally deliver the products to you. Uh, you don't have to pay. There's no pay payment due until I deliver. And um, you'll also have a full money back guarantee. 
if, if you weren't completely satisfied with anything that I order. All, you've, all you have to do is fill out the order form that's on the front of the catalogue and um, uh, on the back, sorry, on the back of the catalogue there. And uh, if you've got any questions, oh, leave that out with the catalogue for me to pick up. And then if you've, if you've got any questions that I could help with, um, you could give me a call back. Um, my number's on the, on the front. Um, so uh, would, you, um, would you like to have a look at a catalogue? Not really, thanks. Um, oh, OK then. All right, thanks anyway. Thanks, bye. bye. Did you notice any of the mistakes? First, the way you look and sound are important as these give people an impression of you. And we all know that first impressions count. Your customers will decide very quickly whether you're trustworthy and someone they're happy to do business with. Here, Jay didn't take any time in his appearance, which let him down from the outset. Let's have a look at the approach again. Hello, I'm Jay, Jay Singh. I'm one of the distributors of Clean Easy products here in Wolverhampton. The reason I'm calling today is to make sure that everyone's had the chance to browse to the latest Clean Easy catalogue. You may Jay was talking too TV. quickly and his customer had difficulty understanding what he was saying. Not and only was Jay's pacing wrong, but Mary's tone was incorrect too. Did you notice Mary's um, approach was monotone, yeah, which made her sound flat and not very confident? Um, the reason I'm calling, uh, I'm just making sure everyone's had a chance to have a look at the latest Clean Easy catalogue. Remember, effective communication is all about a transfer of conviction in what you're doing and saying. You need to have some life and energy in your voice, like you would if you were talking to a friend. You may or may not see some things of interest, but I'll leave it with you and I'll be back on Monday, as it says on sign, to pick it up. Mary didn't pause at all. This is important as nobody likes being talked at. Ideally, you want a conversation with the person at the door. This means that you have to give them the chance to say something. Pauses also emphasise key parts of the script and give your customer a chance to understand the points that you're making. You may or may not um, find things of interest, but what I'll do is... Jay used bad eye contact to his customer. This shows that he's not confident in his approach. So how can you expect your customers to be confident in you and the products? If you just talk at people, first they won't hear or concentrate on what you're saying. And secondly, you're not projecting your best face to potential customers. If you do order, it is free delivery. Um, I'll personally deliver the, the products to you myself. Uh, payments only do when you deliver the when I deliver the products. Um, you, you'll also have... Here, Jay's waving his hands around, which will really distract the customer from what he is saying and could make him look less confident. As we'll show later on in the video, using your hands deliberately and in a controlled way in certain places can really help you to communicate key points. If you do order, it's free delivery. Uh, I'll personally deliver the products to you. Uh, you don't have to pay, there's no pay And smiling can make a huge difference. Here, Mary isn't smiling at all. How do you think a customer will feel? A smile can be catching. Try it. Smile you're bound to get a smile back. Oh, oh, all you've, all Standing you've front on when your customers open the door will and, only um, make them feel uh, intimidated the back, and put them on the back yeah. foot, and, uh, as they don't get the chance to size you up first or feel in control by getting to initiate the conversation. Mary isn't being very successful at gaining a customer's confidence and trust, as she's holding the catalogue like a shield rather than standing in a relaxed way. All you have to do is to fill the order form out at the back. Remember to try to understand things from your customer's perspective too. Like Mary standing front on, Jay is standing too close here. This will only make a negative impact and make your customers feel threatened. Walking and leaning towards your customer increases this negativity. If there is any questions that you have that I can help you with, again, all my details are on the front there, so feel free to give me a call. Know what you're saying. What happens if your customer hesitates or asks for further information? Let's look again and see how Mary dealt with this situation. Uh, hello, my name's Mary, Mary Fullerton. I'm uh, one of the distributors for Clean Easy in the, in the Mossley Hill area. Um, the reason I'm calling, I'm, I'm just making sure people have had a chance to browse through the latest Clean Easy catalogue. You, you might have, I don't, I don't know, you might have seen us advertised on TV re recently. Maybe, maybe not. No, I haven't. No, no. Uh, well, I, I'm just, I'm just seeing if people would like to take a look at a catalogue. Would, would, would you like a catalogue? 
I'm all right, really. Thanks. I'm um, oh, okay. not too bothered. Uh, all right. Thanks anyway. <laughs> oh, thanks. Bye. We've identified key areas and mistakes from Jay and Mary. If you follow the correct approach, then you'll give yourself the best chance of success in getting people to take a catalogue, look at the catalogue, order from the catalogue and leave the catalogue out at the right time for you to pick it up. Both Jay and Mary had no organisation in their approach. By using a series of word tracks we've put together, you'll have a structure to the conversation that you'll have at the door. The word tracks also appear in your workbook. It's not pages and pages of scripts, just a few straightforward sentences to learn that only take a few seconds to deliver. Now, over the next few minutes, let's take a look at how to correctly personally present a catalogue. First, there's the non-verbal approach. After you, knock on the door, take two steps back, then stand side on so that they see your profile. Next, take two deep breaths and picture your customer taking the catalogue. Let the person that answers the door begin the conversation so that they feel in control of the situation. Hello, can I help you? This is where the first approach comes into effect. The aim is to get your potential customer to take the catalogue. If you know the name of the person answering the door, then use it. If not, it doesn't matter. Introduce yourself by saying your first name. Then repeat your first name, followed by your surname. Let's have a look at this example of the first approach. Hello, I'm Jay, Jay Singh. I'm one of the distributors for Clean Easy Products here in Wolverhampton. The reason for calling is I'm making sure that everyone's had the chance to browse the latest Clean Easy catalogue, which you may have seen advertised on TV recently. As you've just seen, whilst saying this, make sure you smile, break eye contact to look at the catalogue and hand the catalogue over. There is no question mark at the end of the phrase, which you may have seen advertised on TV recently, because your tone makes it a statement, which combined with the fact that you're physically handing the catalogue over, increases the chances that people will take it. It's the same when someone says, pleased to meet you, and reaches out to shake your hand. You'll usually take it. As we'll see in this example, if they take the catalogue, you then have the opportunity to educate them about Clean Easy, influence them to not just take the catalogue, but to look at it, as the catalogue is a great salesperson, and increase the chance that they'll leave it out when you're coming by, so that you don't get caught needing to deal with stragglers. Oh, thank you. You may or may not see some things of interest, but I'll leave it with you and I'll be back on Monday, as he says on the slip, to pick it back up. Let's have another look at what Jay did there. Is I'm making sure that everyone's Encourage them to look at the catalogue by breaking catalog, eye contact and glancing towards the catalogue. Also, use your body language to emphasise that there's no pressure to buy. For example, try shrugging you slightly you as you're saying you. this. I'll leave it with you. Step in slightly and point at the day slip on the catalogue and then step back out again to a non-threatening distance as you say this. Next, you've the chance to educate them about the benefits of ordering from Clean Easy. To emphasise these points and to help you remember, you can tick the four points off on your hand as you go through them. If you do order, it's free delivery. I'll personally deliver the products to you. Payment is only due when I deliver the products. You'll also have a full money-back guarantee if you aren't completely satisfied with anything you ordered. All you have to do is to fill the order form out that's on the back and leave it with the catalogue. If you have any questions about anything I can help with, then please feel free to give me a call. My number is on the front. 
Again, as you're saying this, break eye contact to look at the catalog. Step in slightly and point to the day slip on the catalog you've given them. Then step back out again to a non-threatening distance. It's important to educate customers about how they place an order by pointing them towards the order form. This is also a great opportunity to emphasize the personal service you provide by letting them know that your phone number is included in the pack should they have any questions. The next step is to emphasize when you'll be back, where to leave the catalog and why you're asking them to leave it out. Point specifically to where you'd like them to leave it. Let's take a look. I'd really appreciate you leaving the catalog out down here on Monday. Whether you order something or not, as we do get charged, should place any that we lose. And that way I won't need to disturb you when I come back. Start to develop a personal relationship by getting and using their name and reminding them of yours. Like I say, my name is Jay and you are? I'm Susan. Nice to meet you, Susan. Thanks, Jay. Make a note of their name so that next time you meet them, you can personalise the conversation. This will give you the chance to refer back to them in other approaches on the same street to build credibility. Let's have a look. I'd really appreciate you leaving the catalogue out down here on Monday, whether you order something or not, as you do get charged to replace any that we lose. And that way I won't need to disturb you when I come back to pick up George and Mary's next door. Like I say, my name is Jay and you are? I'm Susan. Nice to meet you, Susan. Thanks, Jay. So we've looked in detail at what happens when a customer takes the catalogue. We'll now play it in full so you can watch it without any interruptions. Remember to pick up on all those key points. Hello, can I help you? Hello, I'm Jay, Jay Singh. I'm one of the distributors for Clean Easy Products here in Wolverhampton. The reason for calling is I'm making sure that everyone's had the chance to browse the latest Clean Easy catalogue, which you may have seen advertised on TV recently. Oh, thank you. You may or may not see some things of interest, but I'll leave it with you, and I'll be back on Monday, as it says on the slip, to pick it back up. If you do order, it's free delivery. I'll personally deliver the products to you. Payment is only due when I deliver the products. You'll also have a full money back guarantee if you aren't completely satisfied with anything you ordered. All you have to do is to fill the order form out that's on the back and leave it with the catalogue. If you have any questions about anything I can help with, then please feel free to give me a call. My number is on the front. I'd really appreciate you leaving the catalogue out down here on Monday. Whether you order something or not, as we do get charged, should place any that we lose. And that way I won't need to disturb you when I come back. Like I say, my name is Jay and you are? I'm Susan. Nice to meet you, Susan. Thanks, Jay. People will often interrupt, hesitate or ask for further information. They may even come across as uncertain or closed-minded, especially if they haven't clearly heard or understood what you've initially said. Their reflex response is to just push away anything that isn't completely clear. So, unless it's a very definite no, it's worth clarifying that they've understood what you're asking them to do and why it might be worth them taking a look at a catalogue. Just lean back and keep the pace slow and relaxed. People rarely change their minds, but they frequently make new decisions based on new information.
They may not be familiar with CleanEasy or the benefits of ordering from a catalogue. They may have a distributor or they may simply not have understood what you said initially. Make sure they're actively engaged with you. Take any sales pressure off and give them a reason that it might be worth looking. After asking a question, remember to pause for an answer. This will help your customer to engage with you. Hiya. Hello, uh, my name's Mary, Mary Fullerton. I'm one of the distributors for Clean Easy products here in Mossley Hill. And the reason I'm calling is I'm just making sure that everyone's had the chance to browse through the latest Clean Easy catalogue, which you may have seen being advertised on TV recently. Yeah, um, no, I haven't actually. That's okay, no, no problem. Um, have, you, have you had a chance to look through a Clean Easy catalogue before? No, um, I don't really think it's something I'd be interested in that, to be honest. There's no obligation to buy. Um, there's literally thousands of products designed to make life a bit easier. So people have been interested just to take a look. And I can see you're obviously interested in gardening. We've got some great products for that. Oh, yeah, I'll take a look then. OK, Give thanks. one reason to do. look that is likely to be relevant to that situation. For example, shops are so far away and we deliver products to you personally. I can see that you're obviously interested in gardening and we have some great products for that. I can see you have a new car and we have some great car care products. Christmas is just around the corner and lots of people are telling me that they're looking for good present ideas. Next you'll have the chance to educate them about the benefits of ordering from Clean Easy. To emphasise these points and to help you remember, you can again tick the four points off on your hand as you go through them. If you do order, it's free delivery. I will personally deliver the products to you. Payments only due when I deliver. And you'll also have a full money back guarantee if you weren't completely satisfied with anything that you ordered. And all you have to do is uh, fill out the order form that's on the back. So if you have any questions um, with anything that I can help with, then please feel free to give me a call. Um, my number's on the front of the catalogue, OK? I'd really appreciate you leaving the catalogue down here on, uh, on Monday, whether you order something or not, as we do get charged to replace any that we lose. And that way I won't need to disturb you when I come back. Thanks. Like I said, my name's Mary and you are... Pam. Pam. Nice to meet you, Pam. Thanks for that, Mary. Let's look at the whole action again, when a customer interrupts, hesitates or asks for further information. Hiya. Hello, uh, my name's Mary, Mary Fullerton. I'm one of the distributors for Clean Easy products here in Mossley Hill. And the reason I'm calling is I'm just making sure that everyone's had the chance to browse through the latest Clean Easy catalogue, which you may have seen being advertised on TV recently. Yeah, um, no, I haven't actually. That's OK, no, no problem. Um, have, you, have you had a chance to look through a Clean Easy catalogue before? No, um, I don't really think it's something I'd be interested in that, to be honest. There's no obligation to buy. Um, there's literally thousands of products designed to make life a bit easier. So people have been interested just to take a look. And I can see you're obviously interested in gardening. We've got some great products for that. Oh, yeah, I'll take a look then. OK, thanks. If you do order, it's free delivery. I will personally deliver the products to you. Payments only due when I deliver, and you'll also have a full money-back guarantee if you weren't completely satisfied with anything that you ordered. And all you have to do is uh, fill out the order form that's on the back. So if you have any questions um, with anything that I can help with, then please feel free to give me a call. Um, my number's on the front of the catalogue, OK? I'd really appreciate you leaving the catalogue down here on, uh, on Monday, whether you order something or not, as we do get charged to replace any that we lose. And that way I won't need to disturb you when I come back. Thanks. Like I said, my name's Mary and you are... Pam. Pam. Nice to meet you, Pam. Thanks for that, Mary.
Now, let's see how to handle the situation if the person at the door is certain they don't want to take the catalogue. Hello, can I help you? Hello, I'm Jay, Jay Singh. I'm one of the distributors for Clean Easy Products here in Wolverhampton. The reason for calling is I'm making sure that everyone's had the chance to browse the latest Clean Easy catalogue, which you may have seen advertised on TV recently. Can I just stop you there? I'm definitely not interested, OK? No problem. I appreciate your time. Have a good day. tips to personally present are be aware of how you are presenting yourself not from just what you're saying but from the impression you're giving from the way you say your script and the way you look to your customer by learning your presentation you won't have to focus on the words remember you may not get it right first time but like any skill it takes time to feel totally comfortable have fun with people and enjoy the chance to meet your customers and start building relationships. Remember, only go to houses where it looks like people are in. Then you won't waste lots of time. Well, my confidence changed um, massively after maybe the first time around because I was aware of a lot more aspects to the training because you're, you're talking to yourself about the training and you're talking to yourself about how you should react and. Uh, present yourself to people so obviously practice makes perfect as they say and the more times you do it the better you seem to get at it. The biggest positive for me compared to the blanket dropping is you don't lose catalogues and the positive as well is the time taken for collecting the catalogues and I tend to find that there's probably less stragglers with the personal presentation and a big positive as well is by using the script that you've taught us we actually get the customers' names before you've actually got an order form. So even if they don't order, you have to go out back for the catalogue. And what I was doing is when I went down, if the catalogue wasn't outside, I'd knock on the door. And then when the person came to the door, I'd already looked at the person's name. Hello, Irene, have you finished with the Clean Easy catalogue? So it was getting that personal rapport with the customer, whether they'd ordered or not. And that was a big positive compared to blanket dropping. And I found that there was a bond that we built towards the end of the conversation when I asked for their name. And however they reacted on that, I found that more people seem to look at the catalogue than I've been used to ever. Like 61% of people actually looked at the catalogue and the buying I felt was great too. And I feel the bond was set. It's not just giving some dear catalogue, it's the um, person to person, the people buying people and that bonding with exchanging of names at the end, I felt sealed it a bit. I used to be a nervous person, but Clean Easy has already brought me out uh, to that situation. So I'm going to be more confident in presenting the catalogues and I'm quite looking forward to it. There are other circumstances to be aware of, like when a child answers the door. In this case, what you say and do would be very different. Take a look in your workbook to see what to say and do in different situations. I hope this video has given you the confidence to go out there and personally present catalogues to your customers. Good luck in increasing your sales and building your business.